advanced Photoshop users not welcome. This tutorial is strictly for complete beginners without any Photoshop experience. In this face painting tutorial, I'll be showing you how to superimpose a flag on a subject's face in Adobe Photoshop. This can be used for your public profile pictures for Facebook, Twitter or other social media profiles. You can have the freedom to paint your face or body with the graphic you like. It can be a football team you support or the logo of an organization or company you represent. It can be a clown or a cartoon character. It can be for fun or for a serious cause. In a later video, I'll be demonstrating how you can use the same method to create a tattoo effect. In order to successfully complete this tutorial and get immediate results, please ignore all other tools on Photoshop and only focus on the ones necessary for this task. Right, I've just opened the uh, Adobe Photoshop and um, in this uh, face painting tutorial I'll be showing you how to superimpose a flag on the subject's face. So if I go to my desktop and open, file, open, on my desktop I've got a couple of uh, pictures here. One of the Union Jack and one of a face, a young girl. So I'll open that. Okay, you see now I have both of my um, pictures in my Adobe Photoshop. Right, the first thing we're going to have to do is select the Union Jack, select all, okay, edit, copy, and I'm going to select the next tab which is my subject and edit, paste. Okay, so as you can see, um, we've got two layers okay and you must make sure that your layers window is open okay so your layers window is this one here and just in case it's not um, enabled okay go to window and make sure that this is enabled layers okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to give it some transparency so I'm going to make it around about 50% transparency to that layer. <clears throat> okay, and the next thing is I'm going to use this the tool to um, manipulate the layer by rotating it. So I'm going to go to Edit, Free Transform. So you'll see these handles on the edge when you go close to the edge. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it, right click, sorry, left click on your mouse and just rotate, okay, and release when you're happy with it. Right, what I'll do now is um, I'm going to put my cursor in the middle of the uh, Union Jack and push it towards the face and you can also use these handles on the sides to expand it to make it wider. Okay, so um, what I'm doing now is I'm um, I'm adjusting it so that it's quite central on the face okay push it down up down until you're happy with it and then when you're ready and you're happy with the result just put your cursor in the middle of the uh, object and double click on it there you go so now it's stayed in that position what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use the uh, eraser tool which is this tool on the side here okay eraser tool no but before I do that I'll take the zoom tool and I'll press on my left button and push it a little bit forward so that we can see what we're doing um, maybe not so much okay like that okay so um, next like I said we're going to take the eraser tool okay and adjust the size of the uh, brush okay so that it's quite big and that it's got so that the hardness is not so much so there it would be fine okay so we can we can um, erase the the bits that are sticking out like so so the bits that are overlapping you can just um, erase like like that okay all the way around. Uh, you could be more detailed if you want. This is just a demonstration, so I'm, I won't be too detailed. That's erasing it like that. 
and then um, I'm just going to go just underneath the chin like that okay make sure that I get the hair it's quite detailed anyway like that okay so so we've got it erased and then once again I'm going to go to my um, eraser tool um, and make it a little bit smaller the brush okay so so I can just erase around the eyes clear the eyes up a little bit so I'll do that to the eyes there okay and to you can use the stroll bar the scroll bar to um, go up and down like that okay um, and I'm also going to do the mouth like that okay I think that's just about right next we're gonna <coughs> I'm gonna use the um, the uh, zoom tool once again and I'll press the minus and go back like that um, as you can see the top layer is selected okay that's the uh, flag layer and uh, what I'm gonna do now is make it 100% so that it's not transparent um, maybe I can clear it up a little bit more down here okay just a little bit um, so what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to duplicate layer so if you right click on your mouse and press duplicate layer okay layer one copy okay so now I've got two copies. I've got um, I've copied the layer, so I've got two l copies of the flag. Um, I'm going to disable the top layer, okay, and um, select the bottom layer of the flag. And what I want to do, I want to make this white. So the way to do that is by going up to Image Adjustments, um, Brightness Contrast, and I'm going to bump up the brightness to 100% and also the contrast I'll put it down so you can see that it's gone white and press OK okay um, and then I'll do that again edit adjustments brightness contrast I just want to point out that you must make sure that the preview and the use legacy is enabled okay so I'm going to brighten it up a little bit more and also this time I'm going to put the contrast right up and press OK. So we're going to change the style of this layer and make it so that it's saturated. Okay, so as you can see now, if I take my zoom tool here and go a little bit closer, oops, that's a little bit, a little bit too close. Um, okay, a little bit closer, just so you can see the effect. Okay. Um, you can see that if I disable this layer you can see it looks like the face is pale it looks like it's being painted white okay now I'll enable the top layer okay and make sure you enable it by clicking left clicking on this bit here this eye okay and <clears throat> we're gonna make this multiply effect okay so so the so this layer here the top layer where the union jack exists okay is is multiplied okay and the layer on the bottom is saturated saturation with use saturation okay so with these com with this combination of effects okay you can see that um, it's, it gives it a realistic effect. So what I'll do, just just to give it a little bit more of an edge, okay, and make it look like it's real. I'm just going to put it put it down the fill. I'm going to put it down a little bit, so so that it doesn't look so so that the colours don't look so strong. Okay, I think that that looks a bit better. Okay, right. 
So let's have a look at the whole composite. Let's fit it on the screen and see what it looks like. I think that looks pretty good. I think that's a very good effect and it looks quite realistic and it's easy to do. And I've got to thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope it was useful for you and uh, see you again soon. Thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave your comments below and sign up for our newsletter.